Okay, the um, pose looks really good. I like that you've paid you know attention to finger posing here. I thought maybe you could rotate this ankle the foot down a bit just so that you don't have such a extreme bend at the ankle, which I think I think that would be hard to to do in reality that far. So I think that the foot would be rotated on the edge. There actually is a control for that, I believe. Um, there's the, um, I believe it's a rock, whoops, middle mouse track. yeah, see how that will rotate it along the edge of the ankle, and so you could, so that way you, whoops, you don't have to depend so much on the, we just don't have to have such an extreme bend. Uh, anyway, let's just sort of run this through its paces, make sure... Oh, okay. Those are a mess. It's interesting because... They look fine here. So I'm wondering why they looked good in that, but not in this version. Um, so... A quick and easy fix that I would do, I'd take these two boots, um, just delete history to get rid of the bind, Alt Shift D, and then one at a time bind them. So this is the left one. So I'm going to go into um, here and let's turn off the motion system. And just under the deformation system, um, we're going to want, uh, this is the left, so let's find the left. Um, so we just probably need knee, ankle, toe, toes end. Select that. Bind skin options. Make sure it's set to selected joints. All these try heat maps. See how that works. Okay, that's working fine. Um, that looks good. Okay. And let's just repeat it for this one. Um, and that's the right leg now. So right knee through the toes end. And then just the same settings for bind skin. That we had on the last one. And that's working now. Um... Kind of the rotate looks a little off there, but anyway. Hmm. Something's gone wrong with the thumb. feel like the joints are placed wrong. Yeah, look. That doesn't go to the end of the... Boy! The finger joints are way off. Um... Oh, is it because the character is not symmetrical to begin with? Did you? No, you didn't mention that. Somehow it seems to be working there, though. That's what's interesting to me. Um, maybe because we're seeing the right hand and not the left hand. But yeah, kind of looking at it right now, I can see that it doesn't look symmetrical. So, um, let's give this a shot. We'll go back to the advanced skeleton and uh, fit mode no toggle fit advanced skeleton and 
That looks okay, I think. So let's see what's happening here. Um, okay, those are separate. Are those not symmetrical? Let's give it a shot. I'm just gonna. Um, I'm just gonna leave this one here for a second, actually, and let's unlock this one. Right mouse click, unlock selected, and let's put the. Um, well, it's not the origin. Okay, so let's uh, just duplicate that and scale minus one in the X. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. Very different. Um, so let's delete that. And so somehow the shirt must be off. Well, the shirt's off different as well. So let's remirror that. I'll just delete history. We're going to lose the bind on that. Um, but uh, I'm just going to isolate selected and um, right mouse click face and delete those faces and uh, select the verts along the center line and just make sure they're exactly along the center line by um, clicking. Uh, zero. Make sure to set the absolute transform zero in the x-direction. If you don't see this, you can hide it and show that little interface there. Um, and then right mouse click object mode, shift right mouse click, mirror options, cut geometry is off, combine with original is on, merge with border vertices, custom point zero zero one mirror. Okay, and delete history off of that, and let's show this now, and that looks better. Okay, good. So now we shall um, rebuild the advanced skeleton. Okay, I guess go to build pose and proceed. I think that's the no it's still doing this thing. So I think what we'll find uh, Okay. I think what we'll find is that a couple things are not bound like this and that. Um, but hopefully the other things are still bound. So is this still working right? Yeah, the boots are still Ooh. Look that's pulling on that thing too. I guess we should rebind that more. I'll just delete history off of this and then this arm, okay. Yeah, except for obviously that body's not. So let's just rebind this and that while we're at it because, oh, and we have to do that because we, that's a new duplicate of that. And mm, a little concerned about the lack of detail on the belt. You might need more edge loops on there. But anyway, uh, is that... Well, I guess let's see when we bind this stuff. So this, this, and that have a bit bound now. So we'll do the uh, selective form joints and bind skin options. And let's do selective joints. Let's see if heat map does an okay job for us. Uh, oh, there's some geometry issues somewhere. So, did any of them work? No. Well, the arm did. Not very well. Um, what we could do, though, is if this arm is good, we should be able to select this one and then that one and do skin... Um, mirror skin weights options and from the negative side to the positive side mirror and then that should no that should not work <laughs> that's weird why is it mirror working this one to this one it's just not mirroring 
That's a bummer. From the negative side to the positive side, across the line, see? Come here. They're both selected. Huh. I don't know. Uh, so you'll have to kind of go in there. How about the fingers of those? But I guess the bigger thing, the main thing I was working on was that. Uh, oh, God. Those are just, that vine didn't work at all. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, okay. Let's delete history on that. Let's, um, that one didn't bind. This one did, but not very well anyway, so, or, or actually, do we even check this one? Oh, actually, that that worked fine. So let's leave that one out of it, and let's t just do these again. I'll delete history on this. I already did that and that one. And um, let's see if geodesic voxel gives us a better result. Ugh, come on. Right mouse click, paint. want to see what joints it's listing in here. None of the finger joints. Okay, let's just focus on this for a moment without the arm. So, it's just ignoring the arm for a second. The torso seems okay. All right, well, let's go back to the arm. Alt-Shift-D to delete history. Um, let's manually select the joints of the arm. Um, maybe I'll better luck with that. I don't know. It's very... Oh, those are... Not zero. Oh, okay. All right. Um just going to shift click on this, but I don't need the fit skeleton or the motion system. I want the deformation system. This is her left arm. So let's select, that's the right arm, everything. Here's the left arm, but we don't, probably don't need the scapula, but maybe I'll just start with the shoulder and go all the way down through the fingers and then shift select this surface. Try it again. Yeah, make sure it's, yeah, it's on selected joints. Don't know why this is giving me so much trouble. Um... Dry skin, um, unbind skin, and it was these joints, right? Yeah, it just doesn't make sense to me why it's not binding. Just for fun, I'm going to do closest distance and see if it at least binds it. Okay, well, that's progress, I suppose. I don't know why those other bind methods weren't working. Just weird. Actually, that seems mostly fine now. I'm just a little concerned. 
let's just check these fingers one at a time because we might find they're pulling on the other fingers. They are a little bit. If you can see that, see that pulling on the other finger. Let's um, zero those out. Let's see if the mirror skin weights works now. Um, we have from negative to positive mirror. No, I, mean, I can see that moving. Let's see if that happens on the other hand, actually. While we're at it. Oh, it's happening on this hand anyway. So that's... So maybe the mirror did work. It's just that... Uh, You've got that pulling on there, so... I mean... There's a number of different ways we could try and deal with this. I'm just going to select that top one and grow selection, which is the greater than symbol. And, uh, um, let's just look at the component editor and see. Um, so we've got some middle and some ring and some stuff. So what, what we might try for this is to prune small weight skin, um, Is that prune, prune, prune? Prune small weights, and we're set to 0 0.1, which is kind of big, but let's give that a shot for those points. And, uh, that did it. So we might just do that for the whole hand, actually. Um,. Control F9, and then I'll just... Honestly, it's probably going to be okay for the whole arm to prune small weights. Skin, prune small weights. And then... Let's just check these fingers now, see if they're pulling on each other. They're not. So that worked pretty well. So maybe just do that. All right. I'll just save this in case you want. Do I check the head? Looks good. Um, okay, I'll save this just in case you want.